Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing sequence and series. This is the lecture number 14. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 13 before watching this part 14. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some problems uh, from miscellaneous type. And uh, as uh, we have done uh, in the previous lecture, some questions related to miscellaneous exercise. And here also we are doing the same and starting from question number 15 where we left miscellaneous yes, exercise on sequence and series and we are going to start from question number 15. In question number 15 it is written that if PF, QF and RF term, this is a very popular question uh, which is also I think was in class 10th, PF, QF and RF term and RF term of an AP, terms of an AP are A, B, C respectively, A, B, C respectively prove that, prove that A, Q minus R plus B, R minus P plus C, P minus Q is equal to 0. To answer this question, anybody can think about, since pH term is A, pH term is A, this employee, but before writing this, let write here, because A is being used, so we write, let A be the first term, capital A be the first term, first term and capital R be the common ratio. So, in a pina, so D, D be the common difference, D be the common difference, common difference of an AP, difference of an AP, right? Then, according to question, PH term is A, PH term is A, it means a plus P minus 1 into B is equal to A. QH term is B. This employee A plus Q minus 1 into D is equal to B. And RH term is C. So this employee A plus R minus 1 into D is equal to C. These are the three things, right? So we will write here uh, now LHS. LHS A Q minus R plus B R minus P plus C P minus Q. We can write the value of A, B and C here. So that will come up A P minus 1 into D and whole multiply by Q minus R, right? Plus B A plus Q minus 1 into D whole multiply by R minus P and A plus R minus 1 into D whole multiply by P minus Q. Now what will come? If we are doing this, then it will come Q minus R multiply by A. So it will be A times of Q minus R. A multiply by this Q minus R. A multiply by R minus P. A multiply by P minus Q. So, A times of Q minus R, that will be A times of Q minus R plus A times of R minus P. So, I can take A common and A times of P minus Q. So, that will be P minus Q. Similarly, uh, this one multiply by this Q minus R as well. This one multiply by R minus P also. This one multiply by P minus Q also. So here this will be P minus 1 into Q minus R, Q minus 1 into R minus P and R minus 1 into P minus Q and all over there is common D, right? Now, D is common out of all this. Now here what will happen? Q is here positive and Q is negative, P is positive, P is negative, R is positive, R is negative. So that will come A times of 0. Plus here also, if you multiply this, you can observe this. Here PQ will be positive, 
here PQ will be negative. Here R will be positive and there R will be negative. Similarly, here PR is positive, PQR is negative and there Q times of R will be positive here. So everything one time it is positive and second time it one is, is negative. So everything will be cancels out. Here also 0 into D and is equal to 0 that is RHS. You can simplify them also. There is no problem. So this was question number 15. Now let us solve question number 16. And in question number 16. Now let us discuss next question. If A 1 by B plus 1 by C. B 1 by C plus 1 by A and A C 1 by A plus 1 by B C times of 1 by A plus 1 by B R in A P R in A P prove that prove that A B C R in A P so we have learned the property that uh, if something are in AP, then by adding a constant term, subtracting a constant term, multiplying by a constant term, and divide by a constant term, it will remain in AP. So, what is that? Okay, try to understand. Since A 1 by B plus 1 by C, 1 by B plus 1 by C, and B 1 by C plus 1 by A and C 1 by A plus 1 by B R in A P right so we can write here adding 1 into each one of them and that would be a B plus C B plus C so A B plus A C divided by B C that will be B A B plus B C divided by A C and this will be a c plus b c divided by a b r in a p just simplified it nothing else now by adding one into them now if i add one into them so therefore a that one a b plus a c a b plus a c by b c plus one right a b plus b c by 1 if i add 1 into it 1 and a b b c c a c a and here what happened that one is uh, a b plus b c so a b plus b c divided by c a plus 1 and a b b c plus c a divided by a b plus 1 r in a p right now adding 1 into it so therefore this employee a b plus b c plus c a adding this divided by b c a b plus b c plus c a divided by c a and a b plus b c plus c a divided by a b r in a p r in a p right so if you divide by a b plus b c plus c a then what will come that will be this employee 1 by b c 1 by c a and 1 by a b r in a p r in a p and if you multiply by a b c a b c divided by b c a b c divided by c a and a b c divided by a b r in a p r in a p now b c b c cancel here C A C A cancel, here A B A B cancel. So what is left? A B C are left, and this employee A B C are in A P. This one has to be proved, right? Okay. Now let us discuss question number seventeen. It is given that if A B C D are in C D are in G P, prove that a to the power n plus b to the power n b to the power n plus c to the power n and c to the power n plus b to the power n are in gp that you have to prove right now. so how to deal with if a b c d are in solution can be written like 
if a b c d are in a p g p then what will happen if they are in g p then we can write b is equal to a r and r b with common ratio r common ratio is r then b is nothing else but a r b is a r b can be written as a r c is equal to b r and d is equal to c r can we write like this yes so what will happen now b to the power n b to the power n plus c to the power n divided by a to the power n plus b to the power n is equal to what we can write b to the power n plus c is b r b r to the power n upon a to the power n plus b r to the power n a r to the power n b is nothing else but a r a r to the power n so that will come here b to the power n 1 plus r to the power n here a to the power n and this will be 1 plus r to the power n these two are cancels that will be b by a whole to the power n and b is nothing else but a r b is a r upon a whole to the power n so a a cancel what is that r to the power n also c to the power n plus d to the power n c to the power n plus d to the power n whole divided by b to the power n plus c to the power n can be written as c to the power n c r to the power n upon b to the power n and b r to the power n so it will be c to the power n 1 plus r to the power n and that will be b to the power n 1 plus r to the power n so these two are cancels and c is nothing else but b r to the power n upon b to the power n b to the power n b to the power n will cancel and r to the power n will left so from first and second we can write from first and second b to the power n plus c to the power n upon a to the power n plus b to the power n is equal to c to the power n plus d to the power n divided by b to the power n plus c to the power n second term divided by first term is equal to third term divided by second term is equal to r to the power n and therefore a to the power n plus b to the power n b to the power n plus c to the power n and c to the power n plus b to the power n are in gp proof right now so this is what we can do that now the next question that i would like now let us see question number 18 if a and b are roots of roots of equation x square minus 3x plus b is equal to 0 and c and d are roots of equation roots of equation x square minus 12x plus q is equal to 0 if a b c d are in form g p if a b c d form a g p g p then prove that form a g p forms a g p form a g p then prove that prove that q plus p is to q minus p is equal to 17 is to 50 that is the question so what to deal with since a b are in gp and a b are roots so sum of roots and product of roots we can go ahead with sum of roots and product of roots so p is what we can write solution from here only solution since if a b c d are in gp then 
B is equal to AR and D is equal to CR, C is equal to BR, etc. We can write it where R is common ratio, where R is common ratio, common ratio. Now, since uh, A and B are, now we can write here, since A and B are roots of, roots of x square minus 3x plus b is equal to 0. Therefore, sum of roots a plus b is equal to 3. a plus b is equal to minus b by a, so 3. And product of roots is, product of root is a b, that is b. Right now? So, this one, these are the two things. Now, uh, b is equal to ar. So, also, b is equal to ar is equal to 3. So, a into 1 plus r is equal to 3. I hope you got it. This is third equation. Also, c and d are roots of the equation. Also, c and d are, d are roots of equation x square minus 12x plus q is equal to 0 then c plus d is equal to 12 and c d is equal to q. So, c plus d is nothing else but uh, we can write here c plus c r is equal to 12, c 1 plus r is equal to 12, right now this is fourth one. Now, divide fourth by 3, divide fourth by 3. If we divide 4 by 3, we have c 1 plus r divided by a 1 plus r is equal to 12 by 3 that is 4 and here 1 plus r 1 plus r cancel c is nothing else but a r square b r and b is a r square third term divided by a is equal to 4 a a cancel and r square is equal to 4 so r is equal to plus minus 2 now if i took a 2 when r is equal to 2, then what will happen? From 3rd or from 4th, from 3rd, since r is 2, when r is 2, um, it is given that a1 plus r is equal to 3. a1 plus r is equal to 3. When r is 2, then a will be 3 divided by 3, that is 1. So, a is 1, r is 2 and therefore, 4 terms are a, b terms are a is 1, b is 1, a, r that is 2, c is a, r square that is 2 into 2, 4 and d is 4 into 2, 8. These are the 4 terms, a, b, c, d are 4 terms, these are the 4 terms and now q plus p. So, Q is what? Q is CD. CD means 4 into 8 that is 32. And P is AB. AB is what? 1 into 2 that is 2. So, therefore, we have Q plus P divided by Q minus P is 32 plus 2, 32 minus 2. That is 34 upon 30, that is 17 upon 15 and that you have to prove so you can prove this right now you can prove 17 by 15 got it okay similarly if you took r is equal to minus 1 then also it can prove r is equal to minus 2 in that case what will happen if i took minus 2 1 minus 2 that will be minus 1 and a will be minus 3 so a is minus 3 in that case and r will be minus 2. So, also you can go ahead with this, but uh, in question perhaps it should be written that they are positive terms, A, B, C are positive terms and they are commutative. In that case, only R is equal to 2 can be taken and that can be proved, right? Okay. Now, uh, you will see the next case also, R is equal to minus 2 and you will see what will happen. Now, the next question, 
it is written that next question because uh, it is written here that uh, question number 19 19 and what is the question the ratio of am and gm the ratio of am and gm gm of two positive numbers of two positive numbers numbers a and b a and b is m is to n is m is to n m is to n so that so that a and B are in ratio that is H to B is equal to M minus under root M square minus N square M plus it should be and H to M minus under root M square minus N square it should be like this. So how to deal with this situation let us write solution here AM and GM of two positive ratios A and B AM is A plus B by 2 and GM is under root AB. It is given that AM by GM, AM is to GM, AM divided by GM is equal to M is to N, that is M by N. So we can write here M by N. This employee AM is A plus B by 2 and gm is under root ab is equal to m by n i hope you got it okay now you have to calculate value of a and b what will be that so that can be written as a plus b squaring squaring this uh, then only you can get it otherwise uh, you can also do it using componendo and dividendo using componendo and dividendo using componendo componendo and dividendo dividendo what is that that is a plus b plus 2 root a b divided by a plus b minus 2 root a b is equal to m plus n divided by m minus n can be write like this okay so or with after squaring you can do that that will be also easy because why i am going to make it a square first because here m square minus n square is required and m square plus n square is also there so we can go ahead with this one also or even this one also so if you look for this that can be written as under root a plus under root b whole square that is under root a minus under root b whole square this will be uh, m plus n upon m minus n isn't it so i can write it under root a plus under root b divided by under root a minus under root b is equal to a square root of m plus n upon m minus n if you remove a square this side will be a square root now using componendo and dividendo again what will happen you will happen under root a upon under root b that will be under root m plus n plus under root m minus n divided by under root m plus n minus under root m minus n that will happen using componendo and dividendo again now after squaring squaring because we have to find a b now so that will be a by b if you square this a plus b whole square is applicable then this will be a square plus b square when we will make a square of it the root will change plus 2 a so 2 times of m plus n under root m minus n will come and here in denominator also it will be m plus n plus m minus n and minus 2 under root m plus n into m minus n right 
So you will have here a by b is equal to this will be cancels, this will be also cancels. So 2m plus 2. If I take 2 common and here 2m minus 2, 2 common, then that will be m plus under root m square minus n square and in denominator it will be m minus under root m square minus n square. This is what you have to prove that is a is to b is equal to m plus under root m square minus n square is to m minus under root m square minus n square. This one has to be proved and that is the answer, right? Even after making a square first and then you can do it also. So in this case here you have not to make a square and that will be probably easier one. You can try your own. Okay. Now the next question is question number 20. It is written that if A, B, C are in a P, B, C, D are in G, P, G, P and 1 by A, C, 1 by D, 1 by E, R in A, P, R in A, P. Prove that A, C, E, R in G, P. Prove that A, C, E, R in G, P. Okay, that you have to prove. So, how to deal with this question? Solution, right? A, B, C, R in A, P. So, therefore, um, B is equal to, 2B is equal to, since A, B, C, R in A, P, we can write it. Since A, B, C, R in A, P. So, we can write it B minus A is equal to C minus B. Or we can use it 2B is equal to A plus C. Right? This is one. Now, B, C, D are in G, P. So, what will happen? B, C, D are in G, P. B, C, D are in G, P. So, therefore, uh, we can have B, C, D are in G, P. Therefore, B a square is equal to A, C. B a square, C a square is equal to, let me write here. Then, what will happen that will be c by b is equal to d by c here in this c d e is required right now c d e is required this is given and finally we want a c e a c e so d is also not required okay so we can calculate the value of d here a c e d can be calculated as here Therefore, D is equal to C a square upon B, right? C a square upon B and B is A plus C by 2. So, what will happen since B is A plus C by 2 and therefore D can be written as C a square upon B is A plus C by 2, 2 will come in numerator, right? Now, it is also given that 1 by C, 1 by D, 1 by E are in AP. Since 1 by C, 1 by D and 1 by E are in AP, it means 1 by D minus 1 by C is equal to 1 by E minus 1 by D. And therefore, 2 by D is equal to 1 by C plus 1 by E. And D is nothing else. What is that? D is B upon C square. 1 by D is equal to B upon C square. Here C square upon B. So B will be numerator and that will be what um, B or D can be 2 C square here. Write the value of D. So D can be written as 2 C square uh, 2 upon D in place of D we can write 2C square into upon A plus C. So A plus C will be numerator and that will be 1 by C plus 1 by E. 2 and 2 cancels out, right? So what will happen? Here uh, this will come like A plus C upon C square is equal to 
get C plus E upon C E. So C and C cancels out. That can be A E plus C E. Right now is equal to C square plus C E. C and C cancel and this implies C square is equal to A E. That means A C E R in G P and that you have to prove. Right now. So this is proof. A C E R in G P. This one has to be to A C E R in G P. Middle term square is equal to first into third. This is the characteristics of G P. So we can have like this. So you should eliminate those terms which is not required under the given circumstances and given conditions. Definitely you will be able to do that right now. So uh, you can have the solution of this question. I think you understand it. And uh, next question we will discuss after the break. Right? Till then, bye bye. God bless.